Energy is one of the key enablers of economic activity. However, access to energy, and more specifically electricity, has not even been across the country. Although the last mile connectivity project raised the level of electricity access to 73% of households in the country, many more households are yet to be connected to the national grid. We travel to Moranga County, where one citizen is among those whose plea for connection to power of her rural home went and had for many years. About the tuition from the government, we have been talking to them several times, several days, several years. They have, telling, they have been telling us that uh, they will give us a transformer, which has taken now seven years, and no avail. So it is, we are still in the whole village we are in darkness. Yeah. They say of tomorrow, tomorrow, the tomorrow that never comes. Solar is now becoming the next frontier in the provision of off-grid power to households that are yet to be connected to the grid. While well, there are many plans by the government to connect the entire country to electricity, private sector players are addressing the existing gap by providing households with solar panel solutions. Among those players is the Greenlight Planet, a company that was formed in 2009 to serve an estimated 1.3 billion global consumers for whom the old-fashioned electrical grid is unavailable or too expensive. It will enable the business people who uh, mainly drive our economy. It will enable, the, enable them to work for long hours because they have uh, consistent lighting. All the families will, will, number one, save money. Because uh, the money that they have been using to purchase their paraffin oil will now be channeled to do other constructive things for the home. Greenway Planet targets its solar power products at low-income households and businesses in rural areas that are in dire need of access to electricity. With an initial deposit of 400 shillings and a daily payment of about 15 shillings, traders are able to buy solar-powered appliances to help light up their small businesses. We find that there are uh, many people who are deep into the rural areas, uh, like in isolated places, whereby it, uh, it will be very difficult maybe to, to take the power lines to those areas. Basically, those are the people that uh, we are targeting to ensure that uh, they also get connected. While those with no connectivity to the grid have welcomed the solar power option, Kenyans connected on the grid are equally warming up to the option of solar power. We were even thinking that the people who are in off-grid areas are the ones who are so much in need of it. But we have found that the demand for the, for, for the product is everywhere. Even for the people who, are, who have electricity, they are preferring solar because of one. When you, when you get connected to the, to, the, to the solar, when you have the product, uh, when you do uh, finish making the, the, the monthly payments, you no longer uh, pay for the product again. So you find that uh, electricity is expensive in the long run because you'll pay for all your lifetime. But the, for the solar products, uh, they'll just pay for, for a duration. Then the product becomes yours and you, you, you use the product for very many years because the sun will always be there for billions of years to come. However, the threat of default on payment remains one of the biggest risks facing the uptake of solar power at the household level. Because you're issuing a product on easy by terms, you'll find that uh, maybe you've sold the product to a customer and uh, maybe the post office. You'll find that uh, the, this, this client who you have installed the product at his home, eh, he has shifted to another area. Or you find that uh, maybe in a particular area there are no uh, recompenses uh, providers who we really rely on to for our clients to make repayments. Yes, so those are really the main challenges, uh, and this is, is really affecting uh, the company because when you have a product that you sold on easy by terms and which is not paid for, obviously that's that's a, a bad debt, I would say. Kenya by virtue of its geographical location and in the sub-Saharan region, has year-round access to solar power. But experts say that Kenya's potential to generate solar power is far from being exploited compared with countries such as Germany that have managed to generate enough solar power to light up the whole country despite having lower access to sun. If we can tap, off, we can tap on solar energy, you, you see that uh, we can save a lot of money as a company 
instead of paying the electricity bills that uh, as a whole we do pay, we can turn all that money into doing other things. In fact, we can, we can also power our, our industries through, through, through solar. We can even uh, uh, we can power our houses, our households, our streets. And uh, because solar, in fact, uh, the scientists are telling us that uh, the sun is there for, will also be there for billions of years to come. So if it is there for billions of years to come, why are we not uh, utilizing on this? Why are we not uh, um, taking advantage of this uh, resource to drive our economy? Uh, I see solar as the next big thing in driving the economy. Kenya, by virtue of its geographical location and in the sub-Saharan region, has year-round access to solar power. But experts say that Kenya's potential to generate solar power is far from being exploited compared with countries such as Germany that have managed to generate enough solar power to light up the whole country despite having lower access to sun. When the Jubilee administration came into power several years ago, they made a promise to Kenyans to ensure that by the end of their tenure, Kenya would have 100% be electrified. However, fast forward towards the end of their tenure, this has not materialized. Experts have argued that it's not possible to 100% electrify using grid solutions. And that is why companies like Greenlight Planet have come up with off-grid solutions like solar energy products to reach the most vulnerable people in the most rural areas of Kenya. And today, in Moranga County, one more household has been electrified using solar panel to ensure that they elevate their economic status and also improve their living standards. For Metropole TV, I'm Ogunga.